G'day folks, it's Andy again. Um, been a bit of a while since I've done an upright date on the Challenger. Now, as you can see, a few things have changed since I first got it. Wall bar was on there, I've fitted driving lights now. The steady light bar up the top there as well. Um, started putting the drawers in the back, getting all the rear of the car all sorted out as well. Um, UHF is now in properly as well. And there's a few little things sort of happened. Next thing I'm doing is fitting this, what's in here. So, one of the design flaws, shall we say, with the Challenger is it's got a high slip torque converter. Now, it's sort of fine on day-to-day -day driving, but if you're pulling anything, carrying any weight, or doing long journeys, etc., you can find that the torque, or even off-road, the torque converter can slip a little bit, um, and it builds up heat, and then a car can go into limp mode. So. What you can do is you can fit in a torque converter lockup kit. Now, I went into M&M 4x4, um, who do a lot of lock, torque converter lockup kits and stuff for the Mitsubishi's, and I've purchased um, with my own money a um, torque converter lockup kit. It's called their Automate, so I'm just going to fit it in. They say it takes about two hours or so to do. We'll see, um, and then we'll see how it goes at the end. Wow, what an install that was. The box said it, or the instructions should, I should say, said it probably take about two and a half hours. Um, it probably took me nearly four, with a little bit of a break in the middle. Predominantly though, that was because as I was doing the wiring into the ECU, I accidentally caught another wire and had to resolder it. And long story short, I didn't video it because there was probably quite a lot of swearing going on and. There's not really a huge amount to see. All you can see is tucking wires up and soldering wires and the box and everything like that. And it all tucks up under the dashboard and it's a really clean install once it's in. Um, all that you can see as part of it is there's a little LED button um, which you can use to control the system. Um, I have taken it for a test drive and it works. It works really well. Uh, the gear changes are a little bit harsh at the moment. They will smoothen out over time as the transmission ECU relearns how it all works but effectively it works like a manual gearbox or the gearbox in sport mode but in full auto. What does that mean for driving normally? Well the torque converter is locked up most of the time so there's less heat being generated by the torque converter which will keep my transmission temperatures down when especially if I'm off-road or on doing long journeys and stuff like that it'll hold gear a little bit better as well. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it, how it sort of give it a proper test and seeing out how it goes off-road. I think it'll work pretty well. A couple of things though. <coughs> Don't attempt it if you're not overly confident with wiring or soldering wiring, cutting wiring or pulling the interior of your car apart. I had to pull out pretty much all of the transmission tunnel, all of the center console and everything underneath where the ECU sits and everything else sits and the OBD2 plug sits. In, in a lot of cars it's probably not going to be too big an issue but because my car's also got a lot of other electrics plugged in under that area I had to disconnect a lot of stuff to get to everything. So the, tow plo, the trailer tow pro was disconnected, the driving lights were disconnected, the There was another couple of other little things under there which were in the way. So the throttle controller was in there um, and also the OBD scanner was in there as well. So it, all of those items had to be disconnected and removed and pulled out the way um, before I could even actually get to it because I had to pull everything out from in there. So um, unless you're really confident of doing that, I wouldn't recommend doing it or get a professional to do it. Um, as far as the product's concerned, it looks pretty good. Um, it seems to work really well. It's well made and we'll see how it goes over the next few weeks and I'll be checking back and letting you know.